Hi everyone, it's Monday, December 28th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KETC News Brief. Today marks one year since a small plane went down shortly after takeoff at Lafayette Regional Airport. The crash killed five of the six people on board. They were heading to an LSU game in Atlanta when the plane went down near the post office on Fufale Road in Lafayette, about a mile away from the airport. The crash also seriously injured a woman on the ground and the only survivor on board the plane, Wade Burzas, spent 52 days in the hospital for treatment of severe burns one year later, the full crash report is still pending with the NTSB. A Church Point police officer is facing domestic abuse charges. Racim Fredericks is on administrative leave after being booked in St. Landry Parish over the weekend on a domestic abuse battery child endangerment charge. And this is not Fredericks' first run-in with the law. KTC investigates uncovered that in 2018, Fredericks, then a Basile police officer, was arrested for domestic violence. Later that same year, he was arrested and accused of calling in bomb threats to police. Records at the St. Landry Clerk of Courts office indicate those cases were handled in September 2019 when Fredericks pleaded guilty to simple battery, false imprisonment, and resisting an officer. In a statement, Church Point Police Chief Dale Thibodeau tells KATC that he met with Fredericks prior to hiring him and that a check with the St. Landry DA's office only showed a simple battery charge. Thibodeau added that Fredericks was recently hired and on his probationary period. In Lafayette, a family has lost everything after a house fire on Oak Crest Drive. The couple left home about two hours before the fire was noticed by neighbors. Those neighbors were able to force open a door and help free a dog and cat, but another cat was killed in the fire. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. And now to the latest coronavirus numbers. Louisiana's case count increased by more than 800. The death toll grew by 45. Ten of those deaths were in Acadiana with five in Acadia Parish alone. Lafayette and Jeff Davis each had two deaths and Evangeline Parish reported one. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Hey. Hey Jim, well another relatively cool one tonight. Temperatures bottom out near 50 degrees, but generally fair to partly cloudy skies and nearly a full moon out there. The full cold December moon officially full on the 29th. That is tomorrow. Breezy and mild as we get into our Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures get into the lower 70s, so another nice day ahead. Then as we head into Wednesday, clouds on the increase. A few showers as we head into Wednesday and Wednesday afternoon. And then an area of low pressure develops down across South Texas, and that that's going to be moving along the Texas coast and will bring a stormy finish to 2020 for Acadiana, perhaps even a severe weather threat. We'll see how it plays out. We'll have the latest precip estimates coming up in the next 24 hours or so, and that severe weather outlook will be honed in. As we end to Wednesday, maybe a few spotty showers. Thursday, a 90% chance of rain and storms and that severe weather risk. And then going into New Year's, it does look like it clears out and chills out as we head into the weekend with highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s and 40s this weekend after a mild next couple of days. That's it for news and weather. We're going to have more coming up right after this.